It has been a busy few months for the service since the last fire authority meeting, with a range of activity both on and off the incident ground. Eleven crews were needed to tackle this thatch fire, which started close to the central chimney in a pair of semi-detached homes in Rushall near Upaven at the end of March. Firefighters attacked the blaze by creating fire breaks in the thatch to the rear and front of the properties, preventing the flames from spreading through the whole roof. This thatched cottage in Castle Street, Luggershaw was saved from serious damage on the 19th of May after fire near the chimney was spotted at a very early stage. A member of the public saw smoke and flagged up their concern to Devizes firefighters who were in Luggershaw providing fire cover while several other appliances were supporting an incident over the border in Hampshire. A man suffered burns and smoke inhalation after trying to tackle a fire at his home in High Street, Seamed on the 2nd of April. The blaze, which destroyed a garage, a car inside and the adjacent kitchen roof, is thought to have started accidentally, possibly with an electrical fault. Crews from Swindon, Wesley and Stratton were called to a fire in a ground floor flat in Redcliffe Street, even on the 1st of May. A woman who was rescued from the affected property was taken to hospital, but sadly died some days later from her injuries. Firefighters also rescued a man from a first floor flat by ladder. It's thought the blaze could have been started by a discarded cigarette. This was the second fire death in four months. A man in his 60s died in a bedroom fire in Lamford in February. This house fire in Westbury proved to be particularly challenging as the property was full of hoarded material. When we become aware of homes where hoarding is an issue, we identify them on our systems so that crews are forewarned in the event of a fire. We also work with partners to try and find ways of reducing the risk to the householder. The pilot of this light aircraft was taken to hospital after crashing at Old Sarum Airfield in April. Two crews from Salisbury attended the scene and found the plane upside down in the centre of the runway. Two people who had to be rescued from the River Avon in Chippenham in March were lucky to survive as the temperature was below freezing. Firefighters from Chippenham and Caution used a thermal imaging camera to search the river, helped by personnel from Southwestern Ambulance Service and Wiltshire Police. Once the casualties were located, our specialist water rescue team brought them to safety. Some roads in Trowbridge were closed on the 12th of March after a chemical scare on the Whitehorse Business Park. Builders carrying out construction work disturbed a mysterious red dust which was feared to be hazardous. Firefighters wearing gas-tight suits entered the building to carry out investigations. After discussions with previous site managers, the dust was identified as being safe. A full alert was raised when a car containing a jar of unidentified substance was found outside Larkhill Barracks in April. Firefighters attended at the scene as an Ordnance Disposal Team robot was used to carry out a close inspection of the vehicle. Once the all-clear was given on the car, a hazardous detection, identification and monitoring team from Hampshire Fire and Rescue Service tested the substance and concluded it was safe. Our specialist animal rescue teams have helped a number of horses in recent months. Crews from Stratton and Royal Wooden Bassett were called to Lynham in April to help a 20-year-old mare that had fallen into a ditch. The horse was safely brought to her feet using animal rescue equipment and farm machinery. Firefighters from Devizes and Amesbury faced a similar problem in May when an elderly horse ended up on its back in a dry ditch at Coat. A mechanical digger was used to widen the ditch before the horse was lifted to safety. Gloucestershire Local Resilience Forum held Exercise Selfridge on the 24th of April at Cotswold Water Park to replicate a survivable air crash. This major test of resources, involving some 350 people, included search and rescue teams operating on both land and in water, rescuing casualties and managing the wider implications of a large-scale incident. Because of the size of the exercise and the location being used, resources from Wiltshire were also involved, with fire crews from Cricklade, Stratton and Wesley taking part. Leading Swindon company Castrol held a road safety day in early March, which was organised with the service, Wiltshire Police and Swindon Borough Council. The event was open to several hundred of Castrol's staff and also personnel from other companies. Two Safe Drive Stay Alive presentations were held during the day. The wreckage of a car involved in a fatal drink drive crash was on display in the car park. Road safety displays were on show in the main building with a particular focus on bike safety. 
and firefighters demonstrated how casualties are cut free from vehicles with an accident reconstruction. A fire safety day was held at Bishop's Cannings Primary School during April. The service's education team led the morning assembly and also delivered specific lessons to the children. In addition, the community safety fire engine visited and the children had a chance to use some of the equipment on board. In a thank you letter from the school, the head teacher described the day as an excellent educational event and a wonderful experience. Salamander is the service's highly successful youth engagement programme, which uses basic firefighter training skills to develop self-esteem and confidence. Three courses have been held in recent months. In February, 20 members of the Swindon Young Carers Support Group spent a week at Swindon Fire Station, where they had an opportunity to make new friends, gain confidence, learn how to get along with others and work as a team. Then, a group of young people from across West Wiltshire enjoyed a week at Warminster Fire Station in March. This was the second time that Warminster has hosted the programme, with this group being referred and funded by Wiltshire Council's Youth Service. Finally, a special three-week salamander was held in late April and early May for Swindon Borough Council's Life Project, which works with troubled families. As well as tackling the usual firefighting skills and teamwork elements, each family member completed courses in health and safety, basic food hygiene and first aid. A charity walk by Caution Firefighters in April has raised in excess of £5,000. The 20-strong team walked 22 miles along the Kennison Avon Canal towpath from Devizes to Bath while wearing full fire kit. The walk's aim was to raise as much money as possible for the Motor Neurone Disease Association and the Firefighters' Charity. Both organisations have been providing vital support to former Caution firefighter Martin O'Shea, who was diagnosed with Motor Neurone Disease last year.